Hi guys. So in the last video, we looked at how we can trigger phone calls from events happening in SharePoint list. In our case, we use this verified registrations list. And when the new item was created in that list, we used um, Twilio to make a call to a user and present them with some sort of a voice response uh, menu. In this uh, video, we're going to take a look at how we can not only create that voice response menu, but also record the results back into the list into SharePoint using Twilio. So let's get started. Now I'm using exactly the same setup, so I'm not going to go over some of the settings and configurations I showed in the last video. I'm only going to show you the new stuff that, that I'm changing here. So if you want to follow up on some of the things that we did in the last video, check out the last video. First things first, I'm going to switch to my Azure. And this is my Azure endpoint or my Azure function. And there's two functions that I have. Uh, the first function we took a look at earlier uh, that's the function that will be a Twilio, will be used in a Twilio for as a webhook, and this is where um, Twilio will trigger a phone call from. There's this Twilio function that we're using here, and one of the parameters is the URL. So this URL is actually a URL of the handler that um, once the call is made to the user, uh, we present them with the interactive menu and ask them to answer some questions. So this U uh, URL determines these questions and, and determines what happens when the call is connected. So let's switch to this URL. I have another fun uh, function here called switchboard. This is the actual function that will uh, present user with a menu and it's very simple. So we're, we're using Twilio reference here. So as you can see, we're referencing uh, Twilio and Twimmel namespace. Now in this function, uh, so we have a couple of functions here. First one is a, a sync task, basically reacting to a call coming in. And we're just parsing some values here, where the phone call came from. So actual user's phone number, in, which in reality is where the call was made to. Um, and also digits. So digits is basically a user's response. So whenever the user is interacting with the system, it posts back or it syncs to this uh, function and we can process the digits that they were pressing. Um, you know, one to verify, two to drop the call, et cetera, et cetera. Twilio also supports uh, interactive uh, voice responses, so you can actually talk to, um, to the system and it'll record your response in that way as well. But in our case, we're just using simple digits response. So the next uh, kind of uh, switch is, uh, is basically, uh, you know, we're presenting our users with a few options. Option one, Thank you, it's verified, and we're recording the answer here. And then two is they've, they've declined um, the verification and we're recording their uh, decline. And then for anything else, we're just saying, sorry, try again. So let's uh, take a look at this render main menu. What is that all about? So render main menu is uh, essentially just uh, Twilio's method here to basically say, whatever we want to say and uh, gather a certain number of digits. In this case, we're gathering, uh, we're saying, do you confirm registration for SPS New York uh, to confirm press one? And then we're gathering their response. So once we've gathered their response, the um, we're going back to this function and processing their response. So let's take a look at what happens uh, when we've processed their response and what is this record answer? So this is where SharePoint comes into play. The record answer is also very, very simple. All we're doing is making a call, um, a REST call to our, uh, to our flow. So let's take a look at what that looks like. As you can see, the parameters here are very, very basic. We're just creating a body of the request and we're, we're, sending, we're sending the body to some sort of a URL. So let's take a look at how, that's, how that is implemented. I'm going to switch back to my flow and I'm going to create a new flow. In this case, I'm going to use a request response template and I'm going to pick this as a trigger. Now, as you can see, the, the post URL will, that will actually be generated when you save the flow, so we don't have that yet. So what I'm going to do now is switch to the body and in my body of the request, I'm going to provide JSON schema that I'm accepting. So in this case, I'm accepting a integer uh, representing the ID of the item that we're going to be updating and also the response and that's just a string. So the response is going to be, you know, verified or declined and ID is ID of the item, the item ID that we're updating. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new step here and that will be an action step and it'll be a, from a SharePoint template. 
and I'm going to pick an action that says update item. Okay, so in here we're going to provide uh, the URL of my site. The list name is verified registrations. So in this list we require one parameter that's, requir that's required. We're going to leave the title as is because we want to leave it whatever the, the title was populated before. And for verified we're going to say item response. Let's go ahead and create this flow. Okay, so the flow has been created. Now if I expand the request, I can copy the URL. And this is actually the URL that I'm going to paste into my Azure function in here under record answer. So when the answer is recorded, when when user has made the selection, what they want to do, confirm or decline, or decline the registration, um, this function will be called and say, and the item will be saved. In this case, we're recording the item, uh, we're hard coding the item um, ID. In reality, you would probably receive that from the original phone call. Okay, so let's switch back to our flow and run it and see how this works in action. So I'm going to switch back to my list and I'm going to create a new item in the list just like I did before. Click save. Now I should be getting a phone call in a moment. Here it is. I'm going to put it on speaker. Do you confirm registration for SPS New York? To confirm, press 1. I'm going to press 1. Thank you for confirming. See you there. Perfect. And the system hangs up. Let's go ahead and refresh this. And we see that it's verified. And here's my phone number. Excellent. So when we go back to our flow and open up this flow, you can see that there is a recent run history and this event has succeeded. So if you click on details here, you'll be able to see uh, what happened. So the request came in and uh, there are some parameters that came in here, our hard-coded item ID, our response, whatever the user has entered, and of course that's been um, consumed by um, our update list item action and here's the parameters that were that were updated. As you can see, we also we haven't updated the title, so the title remains remains the same. So this is really how easy it is to configure your own uh, interactive menu in Azure, gather some input from users, and send it back to SharePoint and record all the all this in, information in SharePoint. I hope you found it useful. And again, if you have any specific scenarios you would like to see more, uh, please leave a comment, like this video, and I hope to post more interesting stuff really soon.